Hi everyone, welcome to part two of uh, vendor risk management video series. In this video, we'll talk about vendors and vendor risk assessment record. Then we'll also see some of the uh, some of these items in the platform as a demo. We'll also uh, cover at high level what is a uh, vendor portal. So let's get started. So when it comes to vendor risk assessment, it is a unique uh, occurrence of a copy of document uh, plus questionnaire template for a given vendor. So basically we create document requests and questionnaire templates and then we'll associate that to a vendor which in turn will generate vendor risk assessment. An assessment can be uh, done to uh, to meet uh, to understand the reputational uh, risks or uh, security risks. For example, a security risk can be network risk, network security risk or patching cadence or, uh, uh, or hacking chatter. And we can also leverage third party uh, organizations to get vendor score for example transunion equifax experian and so on and if you have grc integration then we'll have controls that get uh, associated to a vendor and depending on the vendor response uh, the control can become uh, a compliant or non-compliant right uh, and again if you have policy and compliance management integration then you have controls for a vendor if you have risk management uh, set up uh, like configured as part of GRC then you have risks for vendor. So in this video, ser video series we will uh, have a primary contact called uh, Sriti and vendor risk assessor uh, by name uh, Janya Sao and we'll see a demo of uh, uh, looking at the vendor records uh, uh, in the platform now. First we'll uh, impersonate a user called uh, okay so before we impersonate we'll first look at the vendor records we'll go to application menu I look for uh, uh, all vendors so I'll go here all vendors and if you see here so these are all the vendors which are available in the platform and if you see the company is a table name and the view is vendor risk there are different views available there is default view, fourth party view, uh, vendor, vendor management workspace, and vendor risk. Now here we'll search for RN Electric. So I'll open this. So we'll spend some time on this form. So here, this is the company name, which is Warren Electric. The name comes up here. View is vendor risk. And name is a mandatory field. This is a website, DUNS number data universal numbering system industry type is electronics state is active in evaluation these are the multiple status options in, evalu in evaluation not selected selected onboarding active active unauthorized terminated so we'll make this as active and industry is electronics so this is a reference field so you can select other industries if you want it's a it's pointing to the sngrc choice table and then these are the different industries which are configured. And then vendor, that's vendor, uh, then you have vendor type, which again is a reference. So it is on, uh, pointing to vendor type uh, table, and then you have these options. <clears throat> and then you have vendor manager and business owner. And if it is part of a bigger organization, then uh, you will have a parent for that. Uh, and then you have three tabs contact profile and risk scoring contact information gives contact information of the vendor and then under profile you have uh, the stock like you know, what is the is it a publicly traded stock symbol revenue and so on and then risk scoring we have computer risk scoring there are five of them computed assessment engagement subsidiary external risk rating and then you can override this risk rating based on like if you want to override it, you can do that by selecting this overridden risk rating and then you can give a justification as to why you're doing it. Then it tracks the date on which the risk is overridden. And next you have different tabs here, uh, subsidiaries. Uh, if it's a parent organization, then you'll see all the subsidiaries for that. And then vendor contacts, then you have downstream suppliers, business services, which are uh, provided by this uh, vendor, vendor engagements, tiering assessments, repeating assessments, assessments, issues, tasks, assets, product models, vendor risk components, vendor risk areas, entity types, because we have GRC, 
that's where you have this energy times coming in risks and controls so now here we'll mainly focus on vendor contacts so we'll open this in a new window and the table name is vm vdr contact and here uh, it is bringing up all the records where vendor is equal to one electric and then we have vendor assessments uh, which is open a new window again so the table name is sn vdr risk underscore asmd underscore assessment so these are the two uh, focus tables for this discussion and here if you see the filter is vendor is equal to vendor name and applies to is equal to vendor so these are the filters based on which this list is coming up so first we look at vendor contact so we'll open up this record so if you see vendor contact this is a child table to user table so it has all this name information and so on uh, so there is user id there is email address there is first name last name vendor association and then you have uh, the title and so on so basically uh, it captures the basic information about this uh, contact and then you have this uh, contact information the address and so on and then you have questionnaires which are assigned to this contact then document requests assigned to this contact and then issues assigned to this contact. So you can see all that here. Now, when you create a contact, you have an option to select if it's a primary contact by checking this checkbox. When you do that, it makes this as a primary contact for this vendor. And when you, again, when you create a contact, it sends an email out to the contact. So we'll check that the email logs, system logs, email, the table name is sys underscore email. And here you will see that uh, I'll remove this filter and we look for this is the email address to which the email is sent so you can see that the email says welcome to service now vendor assessment portal uh, if the company has changed then you'll see the company name here and if you do a preview of this email it basically gives you username password and then it gives you uh, the link to vendor portal so this is an invitation email that goes to the uh, and the vendor primary contact. So that's about the primary contact. Next, we'll talk about uh, assessment. So if you see here, this is the assessment. Uh, it has a number. VRA is the prefix of the number. Uh, you can change that to the number of maintenance. If you open that. So you can see that there is a uh, status bar available at the top. So draft submitted to vendor responses received generating observations finalizing with vendor and closed there are different statuses available so because this is still uh, not submitted to vendor it's in draft state and then you can see in the name auto generated risk assessment due to tier change for vendor warren electric so the vendor name is here and this is an auto generated risk assessment so as soon as the vendor is created this gets associated automatically and then applies to his vendor and the vendor name is here assessment template will tell you what is the assessment which is applied so we can also look at that and then it will tell you till what date this is valid uh, risk rating valid to triggered by vendor tier so so depending on the tiering of the vendor this is automatically triggered then you have risk scoring, so computer risk scoring, issue risk rating, computer risk rating, issue risk rating, or you can also override this. So similar to how you can override risk rating at the vendor level, you can also do it at the vendor risk assessment level. Then you have assessment schedule. Uh, I mean, if you're familiar with change management, then this is similar to that. You have planned duration. So 30 days is a duration uh, for completing this assessment. So plan start date uh, is the date when it got created the end date is 30 days from then then created by created actual duration actual start actual end so all these are there then you have questionnaire schedule it's for 10 days plan duration and the review duration is seven days so these are out of the box and then you have notes and comments so again this is standard notes and comments so you can add additional comments or you can add internal logs uh, so this is vendor risk assessment and then you have various tabs here so questionnaires so what are the different questionnaires which are part of this assessment and document requests like what documents have to be submitted as part of this fourth party questionnaires so if something has to be 
answered by fourth party then that is available here vendor risk areas issues against the assessment tasks against the assessment any downstream suppliers any controls uh, that are associated to this as part of the grc integration so these are the various uh, tab related lists available here and then this is the vendor risk assessment form uh, so we'll cover the life cycle of the vra in subsequent videos uh, yeah that concludes the scope of uh, content for this video we'll do a quick recap so here we talked about uh, uh, what is vra uh, and then we talked about uh, we looked at the primary contact record then we have seen the vendor information uh, primary contact information we also saw the vendor assessment form uh, and the different tabs thanks for watching uh, we'll continue in the next videos